This is Twit. So, Sandy, let's start with uh, the most recent thing that you did, which was attend the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, an annual high-end audio show in Colorado, in Denver. And there are an awful lot of very expensive systems there. I imagine yours uh, were actually among the least expensive. Uh, I suppose that they were. You know, I've been attending the show for the last four or five years because I happen to really be into the gear very sure. much so. And it's, you know, it's turned out to be a relatively expensive show for me, not in terms of room and board, but in terms of what I came home with. Mm. But anyway, this year, because our new Triton 1 has got so much attention, I just felt we really would be shortchanging ourselves and the attendees by not showing. And so show we did. Excellent. Now, the Triton 1 has gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of press and a lot of good feedback. And there, we actually have a room a photo, rather, of your room at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, RMAF. Uh, no, that's actually at Cedia. We're going to bring that up yeah. later. There's the one. That's uh, it. And I wanted to talk to you first about, I wanted you to, to address the issue of showing high-quality audio in a hotel room, which can't be a good situation. It's certainly not what you'd call an ideal room to show, to demonstrate this equipment. No, no. But, you know, I was a little nervous, especially because the room that we were in was relatively small. I think it was 13 by 19, although that, you know, may be a typical size room that a lot of people would be listening to their systems in. So I was nervous. But what I did, you know, you could see in the in the picture to the left and the right of the speakers, there's some damping panels and that's to dampen the, you know, the first reflections off the wall. And basically, it's what we did, and it worked. You know, the sound was quite good, and I had, you know, and nobody seemed to have any issues at all, really, relative to the room. Mm -hmm. Except for you could see in the middle of the shades that there was this light that kept coming in. <laughs> which, hard as I tried, I could not stop. Oh, man. Well, that was a little distracting. But really, I've heard a number of people say, and I also, when I'm really listening and concentrating to music, I close my eyes anyway. I understand. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and, and it ended up, I mean, the room turned out well. Phil from Listen Up, and we were showing with our dealer, Listen Up, along with Morantz, who supplied the electronics. You know, when I told Phil that I was very nervous, he said, Sandy, when you've shown at many of our Music Matters events here at Listen Up, you've been in some really small rooms. You've always made great sound. I'm not worried. So he wasn't worried. I was. But it, it turned out great. Turned out great. Now, another thing in that photo that I wanted to make sure you spoke about is that the speakers look like they're pretty far apart, farther apart perhaps than most people would put their speakers in a two-channel setup. Well, interestingly, I, I like our speakers, but not just our speakers, but all, you know, to me, all good speakers that image well, that throw a good center image, I find really sound better far apart. You know, it cuts down on the interaural crosstalk. And an interesting story about this is that um, a good friend of mine, in fact, my oldest friend that I've known since we're 13, who has an audio store in Long Island, New York, um, when he got his Triton ones, actually his Triton twos for the first time, and he set them up, and he said they weren't imaging well. And I said, Bruce, are these far apart? He said, absolutely, far apart, far apart. I visited the store, walked in the room, and they were very close together. And I, <laughs> he, he walked out of the room, let me play with him. I moved them far apart, towed them in as I like. He came back in and he said, wow, they image great. I said, yes. If you had set them up the way I suggested, they would have been imaging great all along. But the interesting thing was, was that a week or two later, he called me up and he said he had played around with most of the speakers in the store, resetting them up as I had suggested with ours. And he said they all sounded better. So it's just a suggestion that I have. 